Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. So for today's video, we're gonna show you how to withdraw your Dogecoin from an exchange to your Tracer hardware wallet. Now to do so, we're gonna be using the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, the reason for this is obviously because you incur the least amount of fees. If you take a look at the normal Dogecoin network, the fee is a lot higher. Um, and on top of that, uh, this is the easiest way. Now in a previous video, which I will link in the comments section, we showed you how to set up the Tracer device with your MetaMask account. That way you can access Tracer through MetaMask. So if you haven't set this up yet, head over to that video and it'll show you how to set up your MetaMask with your Tracer bridge through the Binance Smart Chain network. Okay, so if you're all set up and ready to go, I'm just here on the Mandela Exchange. I've purchased some Dogecoin and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to withdraw my Dogecoin to my Tracer device using MetaMask. So if I go to the top right hand corner here, you'll see I'm logged into MetaMask right now. I've already connected my Tracer device so it's currently on my Tracer 5 account. And what I'm gonna do now is just switch from the Ethereum network over to Binance Smart Chain. And then I'm gonna copy my address, head on over to the exchange, and I'm gonna withdraw my Dogecoin. Pasting my address in here, hitting max, and submitting for withdrawal. Okay, and as you can see, I've now withdrawn my Dogecoin to my Tracer device using the Binance Smart Chain through MetaMask. Now, if you go to MetaMask here, you can see that all I see right now are my BNB tokens, right? Now to see Dogecoin, I need to import the token. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to BSC scan. I'm gonna search for Dogecoin. I'm gonna hit the Binance pegged version here. And then I'm gonna go to the contract address, go back to my MetaMask, hit import token, paste the address in. As you can see, it automatically fills for Dogecoin hit add custom token. And then now you can see that I've added the Dogecoin token to my MetaMask. So now all I need to do is go back and wait for my tokens to arrive in my wallet. Now for one extra step of security, you can actually verify this contract address by going to CoinMarketCap or any other screener. And you can see that the contract address matches the Binance Peg version on here. Okay, and now I can head back over to MetaMask. And I think when I initially showed you guys, I never actually imported the token correctly. So I'm just gonna put the contract address back in here, add custom token. And as you can see, my tokens have arrived. And the only stuff I forgot before was just to hit import tokens. So now that tokens show up in my Tracer account, linked through the Binance Smart Chain MetaMask bridge. And my tokens are now safely stored on my Tracer device. So if I ever wanna send these tokens again, I A, need to have my Tracer plugged into my computer and unlocked. And then B, I would just go to send and then paste whatever address I wanna send my tokens to, review the transaction, and then send them out uh, to where I want to send them to. And that's pretty much it for this video. So if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks and take care.